you do this breathing in the sauna, you can, he was like, you can get high, you can like trip out. I remember he just went, and he was like having this like out of body experience from breathing. Can we talk about one thing before you go? Because our, our, our listeners will really like this and Jack will really right. want to know. Yeah. Wim Hof. Oh, Wim Hof. yeah. Wim Hof. Fucking love that guy. Can't let you go without talking about him. We had a few weeks on Happy Hour where I, I decided to start taking cold showers. Mm. Um, thought I'd get into that in a big way. J- Jack hopped on board and wouldn't shut up about it. Like, I love them, yeah. He started, really? he started saying he was taking lukewarm showers, call him Wim Half. He was doing, <laughs> he was doing, he told this joke about four That's times. Got more legs. Yeah. That's got more he legs. told it about four times to Eddie Hearn. <laughs> like, he was just telling everyone this joke. But the cold showers, I think, eventually died out. I now take just no heat showers. Cold like, showers then? No, because they're not cold. Like, I don't feel like, ugh, but they're not hot. Like, they're not, they, I don't like any form of like temperature. No, I just don't like being hot in the shower, it turns out. Right. Fair. So now I did that. Any for any beneficial reason? I'm like whim quarter, I guess. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but you've stopped completely, haven't you? You're back on the heat. Back on the. I, I have a lot of baths, yeah. I do, I do hot and then I finish it with like cold. So you I'm lived with him. Hardcore. 48 lived, hours. Yeah. What was that like? How, how the fuck's this come about then? I tried to get him on this podcast. I did not know where to start. Did you? Really? Yeah. Start son. with him. I can give you his son's. Can you? His son is his manager. Right. Yeah. I'll I'd love that. How have you not just Honestly, gone mate, straight to Zach? No, I don't want to be a leech. He, you're uh, not ready. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't ruin your fucking Zoom video and then go. Also, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I know. Yes, theory. Like just from the Vegas, I met them when they were quite small, and then they grew, and then I grew, and we've just like stayed good friends ever since. Thomas was filming a follow-up video they did a documentary it did crazy well like 10 million views so and i was like i was like mid j stuff so i was in like a lull of just like i'm not making videos jay's jay's away mm. like not what am i going to enjoy doing right mm. now um and then i just like me and tom just had a had a catch-up and he was like oh i'm actually in amsterdam and um recently and then he was saying he was looking for a video crew i was like mate i'll, I'll literally I'll just drop everything I'm doing, which was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Very kind of you. Uh, yeah, yeah. And um, but that video just ended up like it was perfect because like uh, he just I was part of the video as well. Like I just had the camera, mm. but then I'll plonk it down, and he was getting me involved. But yeah, I'd I'd been doing the Wim Hof method weirdly like a year before that, so I started in lockdown in summer with the cold showers and the breathing and all that stuff. So yeah, I was just so excited to go, and he's just like the most bizarre guy you've ever met like i saw his cock so many times when i was there <laughs> like, he just wears this poncho with nothing on underneath like um where where does he live then what like, or, like, yeah but what kind of what's his housing arrangement he don't live in an igloo does he <laughs> yeah. yeah but he doesn't have radiators on um he it's just out on the sticks like he's built this own like it's, it's not a big house just like a, a little bungalow sort of vibe I slept in his son's bed. He's got a young son, so I was in a kid's bed. It's like, it's just real, like, such a wholesome experience. But he's got ice baths. He's got, like, a, a walk-in sort of refrigerator unit, which we did, um, I can't remember how much we were in there. We were in there for, like, 20 minutes in our boxes, running around in circles. Was it proper cold, it's then? Fucking freezing. Yeah. It's like minus, I, I want to say, like, minus 20 wind He said he was inside like a that. freezer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My yeah. nipples felt like they were going to fall off. Wow. Yeah. But, like, he... He'd wake us up at 6 a.m. We'd walk downstairs. He'd be on his guitar just going home. And then we, it gets to do this cliff jump, which he's had built into his back garden. Like his house is just like a metropolis for just like crazy shit, basically. Everything that he wants to do, which is, yeah. Wow. So, yeah, it was such a fun, such a fun experience. Was he a nice guy? Lo- like, such a lovely soul. Like, he cooked us dinner. Like, we just, after filming was done, like, we just sat and watched Netflix with him. And then we were going into big chats about um, just all sorts of random stuff. Just, like, life. Like, he's just such a, I, I don't I don't think I've ever met anyone that, like, is more suited to, I don't know, whatever mission he's trying to, trying to do mm. in, like, health and well-being and that stuff. There's no better messenger for that than him. Like, he is just... He doesn't care about money. That's what his son's for, to like make sure he's like still getting paid and stuff. But he just walks around in a poncho, nothing on underneath with some flip-flops and like he's got his like old car. He just took us into town after and dropped us off and like said goodbye. Yeah. He told us a mad story actually where like he he brought his son up in a squat 
of a like 300 person squat in central Amsterdam, just like hippie era. Like I think he was just like a crazy guy back in the day. And um, yeah, 300, per, like his son was literally born in like a 300 person squat. Just, Fuck. but like, yeah, he doesn't care. It's materialistic. Just he's, he's, I'd love hard, to meet him. It'd be hard to have on the podcast. Would he? He just goes off and like, no, yeah. that's what we want. Yeah. I still have his, like, I still have him so clearly in my head where like I, we were doing the breathing and I like, I passed out. Like I, I was, I wasn't aware, but like we obviously got the footage, but I like passed out doing it, which can happen. And, um, and he like, pulled me up and like was trying to wake me up and then I I woke up sat up with him in his face uh in my face but I can't I can only remember sort of that last minute but um I just remember him so clearly he was just like laughing in my face he's like oh fuck yeah man you went deep <laughs> <laughs> I was like am I all right I didn't check my fucking vitals or something but yeah it was just that it was wow. exactly what I needed at that time in my life and it was just so good what um, does he watch on Netflix well, he let us choose because he was a gentleman, but we were watching um, a series about strange traditions. So, like, I showed him cheese rolling. Yeah. And then I was like, I, I made a video on this and we watched the sort of running of the balls and that sort of stuff. So, Superb. yeah. Yeah. But did, he's, a, he's a very philosophical man. Did you feel any of the benefits from the stuff you did with him, like the ice baths and... The passing out, no. But the <laughs> but that being said, I felt elated after. He was probably just gassing me up. He was yeah. <laughs> fucking... I mean, yeah. But um, like well and truly, like you wake up at six a.m. groggy as shit. I jumped off a off a platform, off a rock into a freezing cold bit of water, and I what I came out feeling boiling hot and like awake and alive more than any coffee could ever do. Now I just had the the sickest day. I spent eleven minutes in an ice bath, like eleven minutes straight, and and I just came out and I was like, just felt like I was on crack. <laughs> just we were in a bit that didn't make it to the video. We were in the sauna straight after the ice bath. And if you do this breathing in the sauna, you can, he was like, you can get high. You can like trip out and like really go for it. And it was like this, I can't really remember what it was, but it, it made me feel all like tingly all across my body. But I looked to the left and Tom from the S theory was like, literally just like, I remember he just went, and he was like having this like out of body experience from breathing. It was bizarre. Like just an absolute, absolute. Was he not just hyperventilating? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> starving of oxygen wow yeah your I mean, life it's, it's good fun yeah that's superb I really really want I, I want your life now <laughs> Vegas and Wim Hof it's just two things I love I, so. I, I actually think that very often about you <laughs> I, I would love to be able to <laughs> just sit in a room yeah. and... <laughs> well I do sit in a room but I'm just like trying to come up with fucking these ideas yeah the bar's too high mate where, I'm sure everyone out there knows who you are now knows all about you but where can people find your stuff YouTube's probably the most worthwhile place. I'm probably there once a month. So, yeah, come say hello on YouTube. Zach Allsop. 